Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing Singapore Math Curriculum for first grade. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Tiffany, the Happy Homeschooler. I'm so excited to share this review of Singapore Math with you. First things first, this is Singapore Math. So here is what you get in a set of Singapore Math. It comes with two textbooks, two workbooks, two flashcards, and then a number chart. When you order the set from Sunlight, they also give you an answer sheet for the first grade math. Singapore math, um, at least from the Sunlight website, which is where I order mine from, is $68.85, and you get all of the things I just showed you. The two workbooks, two textbooks, two flashcard sets, and the numbers card and the answer sheet. That all comes with their first grade package. I'll include a link for you guys below so it's easy for you to find and you can check it out for yourself and even try out a sample math. So here are some of the key features that Singapore math has. Counting and comparing numbers, addition and subtraction, ordinal numbers, common shapes, comparing and measuring length and weight, picture graphs, multiplication and division, halves and quarters, telling time and money. It's crazy to me that kids are already able to grasp at such a young age, um, multiplication and division, but Singapore does teach it and it is understood for at least the ones I have taught. It has been able, they've been able to grasp the concept with the way that Singapore teaches it in first grade. Okay, so here are some of the pros that I have found about Singapore. I love how much they go back and review. I found that my kids are able to really um, grasp the concepts, even if something is challenging, it keeps being brought up again and again so they're able to review it and continue to keep it ingrained in their mind because if you don't use it, you lose it. Singapore also tends to run ahead. I have found this to be true. I didn't know that when I ordered it for the first time, but I did find it to be true for my kids and for other people I know who homeschooled using Singapore math. They also found that Singapore did run about a grade ahead. Um, I mean, obviously it's not guaranteed, but that is what I've seen. That's been other people's experiences that I know as well. One of the really great things about Singapore math, um, starting with first grade, starting that very first in the beginning is how well they teach word problems. Word problems are consistently brought up and word problems actually tend to be some of the hardest problems when it comes to math. Like that seems to be a struggle for a lot of children, but they were able to do well with the word problems because Singapore math taught it so well and taught it a lot. I feel like there's word problems with every single math lesson. There's not really, but the, it, it, there is a lot of word problems and I definitely think that as a, it's a good thing because it puts it, um, it puts the math problem into a real life scenario and why else should we learn it but for real life scenarios? So I love that because it co consistently is bringing up real life scenarios in which you would use math and then what kind of math would you use to solve that problem? So I um, personally really like that Singapore uses these um, word problems consistently throughout, not just like teaching math or teaching like multiplication and division as a singular, but not necessarily putting it in a real world word problem. And Singapore does that a lot, so I love that. So another thing I really love about Singapore math is that they teach uh, mental math very well. This is something that I struggled with as a child, and so I think it's something that I'm noticing. And when I was a kid, I used Saxon math, and I like Saxon math for the older grades, so don't get me wrong. Um, I like Saxon math, but the the way that it's taught with Singapore math seems to um, be good. It seems to be working for my kids. They do well with mental math. So here are some cons to Singapore math. It is advanced. So that's a pro, but it's also a con because it can be hard for the kids because you're moving at a faster pace than you would in a regular um, math setting, just truthfully. So, um, so that can be a struggle. That can be a con for sure. Another con is the mental math aspect because again, that can be a very challenging subject. And I know I personally spent a lot of time, some of these, some of these bigger concepts, we spent a lot of time learning. Sometimes our math lessons were, you know, an hour and a half in a day, and we would do that every day for a week. And that's a lot of time trying to teach math, but the thing is it paid off. So it's kind of a con just because it can be time consuming to teach that much math, but on the other hand, then they know it and it's a good thing going forward. So, I mean, my conclusion would be that I think the pros outweighs the cons in this scenario. If you have time to teach your children and if you want them to get ahead in math, this is a 
great curriculum for you. If you don't really care if they get ahead and if you want them to be able to do a lot on their own, I don't know that I would recommend it because I do think that it is something that has to be taught by the parent. My kids were not able to read the lesson and do it on their own really ever. I mean, at some point they could do some for sure and review they could do on their own, but I definitely think that there was a lot of teaching that was hands-on. And again, I kind of think that can be a good thing if you're wanting to do a lot of hands-on teaching and really help them to understand the concepts, not just the numbers. But I personally love Singapore math and we will definitely be using it for my younger kids up until Singapore math only goes through about sixth grade, I believe. So who is Singapore math for? I would say it's for parents who are okay spending a lot of time working with their kids and it's also for parents who want their kids to excel in math. I found that it worked so well, but it was a lot of time helping my kids grasp the concepts. On the flip side, they grasped them so well, and when it came to be test time, they did very well on their test when they were doing Singapore math. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. I make videos every single week about homeschooling, curriculums, and best books for middle schoolers, elementary, and toddlers. If you guys have used Singapore math, comment below and tell me what your experience was. And if you haven't used Singapore math and are thinking about switching, let me know how it goes. I'm so curious to know what other people's experiences are with the different curriculums. I feel like I've been very blessed and have got a lot of really good curriculums that I've really enjoyed using. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video.